Lights can bring life to your game and it's a major factor in bringing breathtaking graphics and in today's video I'll show you how to implement properly the 2D lights in Unity Engine which is part of the new universal rendering pipelines. In addition to show you how to create uh, the normal maps which makes your 2D sprite looks like 3D in the 2D environment. So let's get started. Let's start by creating a new 2D project. Then from the package manager add the universal rendering pipeline. Now let's create the pipeline asset forward renderer from the create rendering universal render pipeline pipeline asset forward renderer. Click enter to save the default name. Then click create universal rendering, universal rendering pipeline and select the 2D renderer. Now replace the renderer, the default renderer with the new 2D renderer and you can delete the 3D renderer. Now set the universal rendering pipeline as a default renderer in both the quality and the graphics settings in the project settings. Then I brought a random free PNG tree from Google. I can provide you the link in the description to download it too. And as you can see in the 2D renderer, the default material is lit material. So when you drag the tree into the scene, you'll see it black. And that's normal because the scene doesn't have any lights yet. So let's create the first light, which is the first type of lights in the 2D lights. Right click in the hierarchy, light 2D and create global light. As you can see now, the tree is fully visible because the value or the intensity of the light is 1. You can reduce it to 0 0.5 or 0 0.25. Uh, so we can see the effect of the other lights for now. The second type of light is the freeform light. With this type of light you can shape any light you want and it's useful to create a place lit and dif differentiate it from unlit place. For example, like when the sun is coming inside the cave, you can shape this light to only light the portion of your texture which is lit by the sun. And of course you can change the color of any type of the lights to match your scene goals. The third type of the 2D lights is the parametric lights. Uh, I didn't like this type of light much because it's compensated by the point light I think, which we'll talk about next. With this type of light you, you can decide how many sides your shape have. So you can create lights starting from triangle and increasing the size till you can reach a circle. So you might use this type of light. The fourth type of 2D lights is point light and it's my favorite type of lights because it can simulate any uh, source of light, for example, a uh, campfire or a lamp, or even maybe to represent the sunlight on some edges of your textures or sprites. So you can also determine you can also determine the angles of the light so it can be not full circle maybe half circle or two quarters as 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 much as you want maybe even simulate uh, a light coming from a UFO to kidnap someone like what I did in my game Avocado at the beginning of the game where uh, an enemy or an alien comes and kidnap Avora girlfriend. The fourth and final type of 2D light is the sprite light. So you can create any sprite shapes then apply light to them. Of course they should be uh, with white transparent textures. I mean it should have transparency to show well. So for example you can use this to create uh, light shafts or maybe light spots that coming out of the tree. So in Photoshop you may create 
a transparent white lines, then convert them to sprite, import them to Unity and use them as sprites for the 2D sprite light. Okay, for now I'll turn off all other lights and keep the point light on to show you the most important new feature in Unity which is adding normal maps to your 2D sprite to make them look like more 3D than 2D so when you light them the light can detect the texture and decide where it shades or doing light so it, simula it simulates the 3D lighting Creating normal map is too easy in Adobe Photoshop, just go to the preferences and make sure that the use graphics processor is enabled in the performance tab in the preferences. Then click on filter 3D generate normal map and that's it. As simple as you can see, you can just adjust the detail scale or the blur Till you reach the satisfying results regarding your normal map so for this photo i reached a good result for the trunk of the tree it looks uh, really like a 3d shape now just click ok when you finish adjusting those and you will get a normal map save that as png then export it to unity then in unity click on the normal map and change the texture type to normal map then go back to the original tree sprite, click on the sprite editor, then in the top left menu select secondary texture and add here the normal map and make sure to select the name as normal map. Then as a final step to activate the normal map select again the light you want, then activate use normal map on the light and as you can see now it's rendering the trunk texture very well of the tree you can feel it's almost 3d with this technique and using the normal map let me show you again the difference between using normal map or not using it's totally make a difference first one looks like totally 2d second one when I activate the normal map it gives a bump or 3D 3D thing to the textures. Then using all the information I shared with you I created this 2D forest scene and as you can see here we have global light to light all the sprites in the scene and we have some sun point lights like here and here and I use also shape light to create the light shafts here. What else? I used also the freeform, freeform light to create this area of light where the lights enter this cave. So I created this shape to only light this portion of the cave entrance and that's it then I animated the, the vegetation of the scene like those grasses using a shader graph that I created in previous videos I'll provide also the link for that in the description oh by the way I forgot to say that all the assets I use in this scene are free assets in the unity store they created by alien nude and I'll provide also the link for that in the description and finally I use the timeline to create the cutscene which I showed you in the beginning of the video so I just animated things around the lights their color etc so if you are interested I can create a dedicated video about how to create a cutscene for your video game and that's it for today's video I hope you enjoyed and benefited from it and I hope to see those techniques used in your video games. Thanks for watching and special thanks to our supporters on Patreon, Benjamin Venge, Daniel Sanchez, Jack Crystal, James Valentine, Kojo Apuni, Lord Mokor, Pedro, Rick Japowski, Stabilirion, Cannibal, and the Transong. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss the next videos. Till next time, see you soon.